Hello. Hi. Good evening. Now I'm going to show you how to create pipe type in Revit. Let's go to Revit. I'm going to close the file because I want to make sure that you understand better. So I'm going to take a plumbing template and I'm going for a pipe. Go to systems and pipe. I'm drawing a pipe. Okay, so this is a pipe type. So this is a pipe type. Now I'm going to show you how to create this pipe type. So if I select the pipe and you can see here we have three types of pipe one is standard, plastic, and cast iron. Um, in case if you want to create your own pipe type, then how to create. Okay. So here uh, what you have to do is you have to select a pipe go to edit type duplicate and you write that pvc pipe pvc pipe for some purpose what purpose water water supply pvc pipe water supply okay and okay now you can just draw a pipe before drawing the pipe you can select pvc water pipe and you can draw the pipe it's easy but there are few things you have to consider before um, before finishing the creation of pipe type so i'm going to show you why it is so important um, in pipe if you go to edit type or routing preferences okay so these are the um, sub families are already available in the pipe type so here it is shown as copper but what we are creating is pvc pipe so we have to change this to pvc okay so we have to change this to pvc and then you have to check all the fittings okay in case if you don't have any flanges then you have to load fittings let's go to load family then go back to pipe folder okay so this is what we know so here you have to go to pipe folder then go for uh, fittings so in the fittings pvc we have and schedule 40 type is there socket type so you can load all the fittings but here you don't have uh, the flange so you have to load from the steel flanges folder go to steel flanges so here you can load any uh, standard okay so let's load all of them then say open so now you can select m flange slip on steel class 150 okay so this is how you have to set your fittings and then say okay so in every um, fitting type we have minimum size and a maximum size so in case if you have a constraint of a minimum size and maximum size you can fill here okay you can choose the size for minimum and maximum okay you can choose minimum and maximum otherwise just keep it as all so that it will be easy okay and then say okay your pipe fitting flange all are set to none okay so we are getting that error because flange size is none so we have to give some sizing then say okay okay now the pipe type is complete okay so you try yourself on how to create a pipe and then if you are having any doubt please let me know 
in case if you want to learn in deep then close this project because we created this project from plumbing template so plumbing template is loaded with all the preset and uh, we don't have to struggle so much in case if i don't have a template how to create pipe type i'm going to show you go to new and here in the template i'm going to select none okay that if i select none there will be no families loaded in the project so i have to load as new okay so now family template project template is none and i'm going to create the project now i have to mention the unit metric unit okay so now you see i'm going to systems pipe and if i draw the pipe it's not visible why it's not visible because of view range because there is no view type is created for plumbing okay uh, i will show you how to create a view type for now i'm going to just change the view range so that it will be visible okay now the pipe is visible okay i'm going to draw the pipe again go to systems pipe see i'm going to draw the pipe but i can't draw the next piece because we don't have any fitting set if i select the pipe you can see this is the pipe type what i get by default but if i go to edit type in the routing preferences nothing is set everything is none okay so that is why we don't get the fittings okay so let's set the routing preferences um first check segment and size so here everything is filled already so we have to create a pvc schedule 40 and all the sizes are given already segment description you can uh, you can define in case if you want to create a new segment you can create a new segment okay now say okay the second one what you have to check is uh, the pipe segment here you have to set the pipe segment for the pipe type so let's say you are going to create pvc then you have to select uh, pvc schedule 40 then you have to check all the rows so for example if you are uh, creating a elbow then you have to choose the family so here there is nothing loaded so you have to load the family loading family is easy just go to your libraries uh, here take english us then go for pipe folder here go for fittings so i'm going to create pvc schedule 40 socket type and let's load all the socket type okay so these are the fittings now t plug and elbow cross coupling uh it's for reducer uh, coupling pvc cap and what's there inside in case of a bend bend lung sweep we have other things also this is for drainage water okay so let's load everything open load all of them you also load these types if required you can load once it is done you can select elbow type so pvc standard and the size you have to select all in case if you think uh, for uh, 15 to 100 or 15 to 125 i will use uh, this type and if the size is more 
I'm going to uh, take a new type. Then you can choose like this 120, 150 to 300. It's a different size. And like that, you can choose. Okay, so for now, quickly, I'm going to add preferred junction type. If it's a junction, um, then it's a split. It's better to keep it as T. Uh, in case if you change this to a tap, then uh, you can see the junction you can't set preferred junction type if you change this to t you can select in case if you change this to tap it becomes it becomes gray it is inactive if it has t then go for cross so everything we need uh, schedule 40 pvc schedule 40 m cross pvc schedule standard all size transition that's uh, going to be reducer and uh, union standard and a flange flange nothing loaded go for cap then here also let's go for schedule 40 and uh, for flange you have to load so flange is not available in pvc so we are going to load from steel flanges any standard you can take just load these families and then you can set the flange type Here you can say okay but before you say okay what do you have to do you have to set the sizes you have to set the sizes okay now the size are set if i say okay i don't get the error message and say okay now i can draw the pipe okay you can see here in case if i split this pipe uh, let's go to modify tab split pipe if I split you can see the flange is generated automatically okay so this is how you have to create a pipe type so there is one more way to create a pipe type you can go to the project browser here we have pipe go here so this is a default because it's not named uh, you can right click and you can duplicate the pipe type right click rename and let's say steel pipe enter so now the pipe type is created but um, we have to set the routing preferences so we have to change this to uh, iron or stainless steel steel pipe so and the fittings also should be in steel right so you have to load the family from steel folder um carbon steel so you have to load all the fittings okay if you don't need two row you can remove and just select ch carbon steel 150 sizes all size t type okay carbon steel standard carbon steel standard so you have to change these fittings and uh, union union is pvc only okay so i don't have steel uh this is steel okay and then here also you have to choose carbon steel so this is for cap but i need uh, steel 
blend steel okay union this is for coupling okay load family in case if you don't have anything then uh, you can also choose a generic transition okay then you can choose a union generic so for now it's a generic so once you finish engineering routing model you can go for fabrication model that time you can choose so whatever the uh, coupling required okay then say okay okay now go for systems pipe and choose the pipe type steel and then draw the pipe if you select the fitting it will show carbon steel class 150 okay so this is how you have to create the pipe type i hope now you are clear in case if you have any doubt in creating the pipe type please let me know thank you bye bye